Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordy. I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. These readings are general, so that means they may or may not resonate with you. I say this every time just in case you're new to YouTube uh, tarot readings. You know, they uh, the best way to navigate your own personal journey is to look at the title that stands out to you and take time to look for those titles and hopefully you'll find a message that resonates with you. So if this reading doesn't fit your story, you know, you can go over and explore my homepage and uh, I'm sure you'll find a message that you're looking for. We're going to get started today by pulling some spirit animal cards. Then we'll move into a 10 card tarot spread <coughs> using the Rider Waite tarot. So what is going on for Pisces? We have the Hawk Spirit, which says, let spirit be your guide. We also have Turkey Spirit, which says, give with gratitude and grace. I think a turkey is too big for a, a hawk to hunt, don't you think? I don't think that would be very common. But um, it's a bird of prey and it's a bird of, you know, feasting. <laughs> we have another bird underneath the bottom of the deck. We've got Canary Spirit. Sing your own song. So, uh, yeah, let Spirit be your guide. Give with gratitude and grace. We'll see how the tarot cards play into this. On the split, we have the Devil reversed and the Seven of Cups reversed. This could talk about a connection that has already like been um, like broken. Um, you've broken free from it, and uh, it feels like it's been your mind's been a lot clearer ever since that time. Um, you're no longer confused. You're no longer imagining what it would be like to be with this person or continue the relationship. So you've got a clear clear head. They might pop into your mind every once in a while, but your emotions aren't as triggered. You have the Ace of Swords reverse. We have the Magician card. In the middle of the reading is the Seven of Wands reverse. We have the Three of Wands reversed in your recent past. We have the Death reversed in the uh, distant past. In the future is the Ace of Cups reversed. We have the Hanged One in your your own energy there, representing you. We have the Knight of Swords in your environment. We have the Five of Cups reversed in your fears and desires position. And the outcome is the Two of Swords reversed. With the Tower reversed underneath the bottom of the deck is the overall energy. Sometimes the tower card reverse can indicate that something, like there's a warning there. Um, be careful, be cautious. The universe might just change the situation quickly for you, or you might find that your situation changes quickly if you continue along your path. Um, if we look at all the cards, most of them are reversed. Uh, however, we do have the Magician, the Hanged One, and the Knight of Swords. Um, it looks like Pisces, you've been, uh, on hi hiatus is what I'm hearing. Maybe you've been on sabbatical. Maybe you just have been, um, away from a lot of people. <laughs> uh, you've just kind of been keeping to yourself. It's not really like a hermit card energy. It's more so like you could still be around people, 
but you've closed off your energy in some way. You've shut down some area of your life. Maybe it's your love life. Maybe it's talking about a specific area of your life as well, like talking, talking about the past or uh, something like that. You just won't talk about it anymore. And uh, you won't even think about it. It's just kind of paused for now. Well, somebody's going to come into your life who may stir up the feelings of the past, may stir up your thoughts, maybe even stir up your feelings of uh, love or emotional attachment to somebody. Um, I don't know if this person, like what their intentions are. The cards aren't really indicating that. But it does feel like this person feels like apologetic or or sincere anyway um, about um, their connection to you. Um, if this person isn't new, uh, isn't a, someone from the past, it could be someone new. Um, it doesn't feel like somebody new though. I'll be honest with that. I know you guys don't like the readings where it's somebody from the past and blah, blah, blah. But um, I feel like this is an important message to get out there. So I'll continue with it. Uh, this person may have been blocked or not communicating with you for a very long time. Um, you might not have had, excuse me, a full-blown relationship with this person. I don't know what type of relationship you have with this person. It could have been platonic, friendship, family. Maybe just um, dating for a minute. Or maybe it's been for a, you were together for a long time. But um, something um, caused it to end in the past. And um, it's almost like your future was cut off with this person. Um, it was abrupt with this Knight of Swords being here. And um, I feel like somebody gave up on you. Could be vice versa, but um, they got overwhelmed by their own life situation, their own feelings, their own circumstances, and you were like a casualty in the in the war that they were dealing with. So. Um, with the Magician card being here above the Hanged One. Um, it's almost as if when this person comes back into your life, the light bulb turns on again. That part of your brain that was saved this this person in the, in the files, you know? And uh, it's like you're kind of reviewing the past. You're reviewing wh what you feel and think about this person. And... Uh, I want to say that this person's from like your distant past. Um, like more than just like a year or two ago, you know? Uh, yeah, maybe sending a message, maybe actually heading your way. Um, it feels like there's a lot to talk about. It also feels like there's a lot of emotions behind what is being talked about. And uh, with these two aces here, one in the current moment and one in the future, it does show potential for a conversation to uh, either clear the air and reaffirm boundaries, reaffirm how you think and feel about this person, and um, maybe establish uh, either a new boundary or establish maybe even a new form of relationship with this person or it might actually tip you into um, a whole new batch of feelings and that's where the tower card here is kind of just like oh this is risky because um, we could go either way 
Let's clarify this Knight of Swords. What? Why is this person coming in, or what's on their mind? We have the King of Pentacles. They might be more stable and secure and financially well off than they were before. Page of Cups reversed. Seven of Pentacles reversed. The Sun and the Ace of Wands reversed. They want to know if you still have feelings for them or still have a place in your heart for them. Um, I feel like they waited a long time to uh, send a message. It seems very like formal, but behind it there's a lot of positivity. They have a lot of hope for this. It's almost like it's almost like they have a lot of hope for you to answer a message that they send. <laughs> All right. I'm laughing because I think that I've seen this happen. Cuz I'm a Pisces too, and it's just it's funny how readings can reflect what's going on. So a lot of the times we have things in common, Pisces, me being the reader and you being the viewer. <laughs> okay, well, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you for being here. And uh, um, normally I would go through the card pairings, but we did clarify some things. And uh, I'm just going to leave it there for today. Um, yeah, I'll see you again soon.